Yeah, thank you, Dr. Rajeshina, for giving me this opportunity. And uh, uh, it's my pleasure to be in this uh, forum along with you and the eminent speakers uh, to, to talk about my concepts and uh, working on CXL for the past more than a decade. So what we learned in the cross-linking. As uh, nicely explained by Dr. Vijay Sharma, uh, the uh, cross-links are physical bonds. What we have to remember is there Can is a just be a little louder, Dr. Reddy? Yeah, there is a, this is a physical bond, though uh, there is a chemical cross-linking also, but it's not practiced in uh, cornea very much. So these bonds, whatever is formed, is not from the riboflavin. This is our covalent bonds formed by the uh, super oxygen molecules. These three gentlemen changed the way the, the catoconus is practiced around the world, and uh, hundreds of thousands of patients benefited out of them, and not only patients, we also benefit a lot in handling our patients, both uh, professionally and financially. So coming to this 5.4, a magic number, it's calculated for the tissue. So the more uh, taking into consideration 450 microns corneal thickness, if the cornea is less, you need a less energy. And uh, that's the, another point we need to remember. So the sporal has given a graph to adjust the powers for thin corneas, as Dr. Rajeshna has nicely explained everything to reduce the toxicity and reduce the amount of UV radiation to the endothelium and to the stroma also to prevent excess one. So why should we customize? For example, this patient is very, uh, I show you an example, 2007, December, he had a cross-linking done. In, so 2010 is beautiful. His vision has improved, unaided, and he is very nice. 2012, there is a flattening and his vision started dropping. 2012 December. So these are the graphs. Or 2015, 2000, 2017, when it comes after 10 years, this vision is dropped to 618 from somewhere between 66. So this is what happens in uh, cross linking sometimes when you, that's why we, uh, we started practicing cross. This is another example of this patient 2008, 2008 after cross linking, very nice vision. Then 2008, December, fine. 2010, excess flattening, excess flattening. And this what generally we see the haziness of the cornea after cross-linking. We don't want to see this haziness because the haziness has nothing to do with immediately with the cross-link. Cross-links are invisible phenomena. So whatever we see is due to the UV radiation toxicity. So this demarcation line is how much is the UV radiation toxicity it shows. That's what I believe. It doesn't show the cross links, it just shows the toxicity. Why should customize? This cornea, if you look at the superior cornea is already flat, we don't want to flatten further. And the inferior cornea is only the cone. This is a paracentral cone, this is a central cone, and this is a almost symmetrical bow tie, little bit asymmetrical bow tie, and this is a totally inferior cone, and this is a very early cat catacornus. So all this, this is a superior catacornus. So if you do the same thing for every patient, it doesn't make sense in my uh, view. So, so we started customizing cost linking, depending upon the uh, what we can customize is the issue in a standard bow equipment. The total amount of energy is variable. We can always change it. The size of the beam is always fixed at eight, eight millimeters. We can change according to our uh, patients and the location where we apply the UV radiation, we can change and we can add on PTK or PRK for these cases. Then how do you customize? This all depends upon the, what you believe, what you interpret from the available information and the knowledge, clinical knowledge and assumption and hypothesis. So there is always two sides for the coin. The, some people believe cataconus is a local weakness, progress to become global, that's what I believe. But there is opposite argument, cataconus is a global disease. It just starts in one local area, so you need a total corneal treatment, that's what another group believes. So the steepest cornea is the weakest area, that's what I believe, and it can be irrespective of the thinnest location. It can be anywhere, that's what we found in our uh, Pentacam maps. The thinnest location is not always the steepest portion, whereas uh, some, the opposite group believes the thinnest location is the weakest point, and the elevation, what we see in Pentacam is just a consequence of biomechanical effect. I believe the strengthening of the weak and the steepest area strengthens the cornea and prevents further progression. And the opposite 
uh, view is catoconus is a progressive global disease, so the wide area of standard treatment is necessary to prevent the disease. So there is another point, normal tissue doesn't cross-link with treatment, only biomechanically weak tissue with the weak cross-links only takes up extra cross-links. That's uh, one uh, group, one point of view. I believe that all tissue develops cross-links irrespective of the status at this point of time. So we did a preliminary work. For example, we took a normal 50 years to 60 years donor corneas, which are well, or normal corneas, not catoconus. Then we did a cross-link with CXL, glutaraldehyde, and BSS, then subjected to them to a KOH digestion. Uh, two hours, the uncross-linking tissue disappeared, whereas CXL tissue still remaining, glutaraldehyde still remaining. It took four hours for the cross-linking tissue to dissolve. So it definitely shows the normal tissue also undergoes cross-linking after treatment. And in tensile strength also, measurements also we did in a uh, engineering lab. So it has shown after cross-linking immediately within few hours after cross-linking, there is an increased tensile strength in the, even in the normal tissue when compared with uncross-linked tissue. So these are all, I believe that visual acuity is paramount importance and clinical parameter for success of treatment. But the opposite, some group uh, very uh, argue that the shape of the cornea is more important. It's not the visual acuity. K-max and cardinal indices are more critical parameters. So what we can customize, as I'm telling, that depending upon thickness, we can always change the energy and giving, give, as the map given by the spiral. And the visual acuity I take is a paramount importance. If the visual acuity is very good, best corrected or uncorrected, I use less energy. I don't use total cross-linking because I don't want progressive flattening. Then accepting a high spectacle power, I use more energy than the recommended 5.4 joules. And if the spectacle power acceptance is very small power, I use very less, say around four to five joules. This is a map irradiation map. Then the location and size, for example, a patient like this, I do only the inferior area, the superior area we cover with a uh, tissue and we cover with something, we masking a masking with a paper and we do only inferior cross-linking. Even this PMD, Pelsin marginal degeneration, we do only inferior cross-linking. We don't touch the superior cardia. Then PTK is another modality we are trying. This is apex-centered. You have to remember, this is not pupil-centered. This is apex-centered PTK. And uh, the concept behind is the thinnest uh, epithelium is over the apex of the cardia. So usually we measured with, uh, it comes around 35 to 40 microns. So we, for example, this tissue, this patient, we apply PTK only on the inferior area. For example, you can see that the, this is a decented PTK that happens in the only in the inferior area. So my time. So then we cross-linking that tissue alone. These are the results which you can show. The almost catoconus sky becomes normal and the asymmetric bot eye becomes more symmetrical bot eye. The key points here is more the time, better the effect. That's what Dr. Rajesh Sinha also showed. It doesn't obey the Bunsen rose uh, exactly. Visual acuity decides the treatment plan and topography of the cornea, location of the cone. These are the paramount importance when you're taking. The story doesn't stop there. We have new modalities of cross-linking, which give a mild gentle, which we can start in early cases. This is a Rose Bengal with 532 cross-linking. So I think I will stop with that fake kick maybe uh, because time is over. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity.